Mercedes was caught cheating during the Belgium Grand Prix and the stewards weren't happy with Mercedes gaslighting. Champagne was sprayed effusively on the podium by Russell and Hamilton, who flanked Mercedes lead strategist Joey McMillan as the group rejoiced in the team's resounding 1-2 finish, unsuspecting of what would follow. Lewis Hamilton did not seem too pleased with his team's strategy right after the Belgian Grand Prix. Well, when you put the faith in, you have to put your faith in the people that you work with. And so, I put my faith in my strategists. I should lean on the, be able to lean on them fully. I told them that the tires were fine, and, and they pulled me in. I, did I know that I was at risk of getting one stop by my teammate? They didn't tell me that, so, you know, it's... Um, the Brit initially finished second in the race but has since been awarded first place after his teammate George Russell was disqualified when his car was found to be underweight. Russell's unplanned audacious one-stop strategy, a masterstroke that seemed to defy logic, might have inadvertently led to his very demise. Pirelli, the exclusive tire supplier to F1, has confirmed that tires typically lose approximately a kilogram of mass over a race stint. Given Russell's extended stint, or 34 laps, on a single set of hard tires, it's conceivable that his car shed significantly more weight than those of his rivals who opted for an additional pit stop. Russell's aggressive driving style, particularly in the latter stages of the race as he defended against teammate Lewis Hamilton, could have exacerbated tire wear. However, the puzzle is far from complete. Mercedes, like any top-tier F1 team, would have meticulously calculated expected tire wear and the impact of the spa-specific conditions on car weight. The search for the missing 1.5 kilograms will extend to other areas. The car setup changes introduced on Friday night, the impact of the wet qualifying session on data collection, and even the team's overall weight distribution strategy will be under scrutiny. Mercedes after realizing Russell's car was underweight, tried to cheat by not draining all the fuel in the car. Hoping the inspectors would miss checking if all the fuel was drained per the technical regulations. The report said that. While the car had initially been found to be compliant with the minimum weight of 798 kilograms, 2.8 liters of fuel was then removed. The car was not fully drained according to the draining procedure submitted by the team in their legality documents as Technical Regulations Article 6.5.2 is fulfilled. The car was weighed again on the FIA inside and outside scales and the weight was 796.5 kilograms after the draining. The calibration of the outside and inside scales was confirmed and witnessed by the competitor. As this is 1.5 kilograms below the minimum weight requested in Technical Regulations Article 4.1, which also has to be respected at all times during the competition. Article 4.1 of F1's Technical Regulation states, the mass of the car, without fuel, must not be less than 798 kilograms at all times during the competition. Across practice sessions and at any point before qualifying, this rule doesn't apply as cars are only weighed after competitive sessions, qualifying and the race. So, when the car was drained of fuel correctly, Russell was underweight by 1.5 kilograms. The stewards determined that Article 4.1 of the FIA F1 technical regulations has been breached and therefore the standard penalty for such an infringement needs to be applied, which is disqualification. But you have to give it to the inspectors, Mercedes used all methods to cheat, but still got caught. In other news, Carlos Sainz has signed for Williams Racing for next season.